What up guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Outdoors. Today, I'm at a very special location here in Manitoba, searching for Monster Purge. It is windy as all hell, because that's why I'm tucked down behind my truck in the shack, so there's no interference with the intro. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. So guys, this is to give you a little explanation on what happened before I caught that big perch. Because I didn't even know I had that fish on. Um, it totally came out of nowhere, totally surprised me. So anyways, I moved away from Gino and his buddy and we went fishing, my girlfriend and I went fishing closer to where everybody else was. And I got tired of looking at my dead stick. So I set up the old fashioned jaw jacker. Well, Gino came by to come say hi and see how everything was doing. I was telling him how we weren't catching shit all. Like there was nothing, not a bite, not anything. And I set this up outside with my tip or my jaw jacking rod with a small jig and a minnow. And yeah, if anybody knows anything about a jaw jacker, when you set it up, that goes down. Your thing obviously goes into the little hook. And then this sits over top of it. It sits parallel. Well, after Gino left, I looked over at the jaw jacker and I said to the girlfriend, I'm like, wait, I didn't set it up like that. When I got to it, it was bent like this, but the trigger mechanism didn't go off to set the hook for the fish. So when I went there, I grabbed the line and there was nothing but weight. And lo and behold, it's I had to set it off to get it to go so I could get the rod out of the rod holder and the rod bent right over. And I just started reeling and all these weeds and vegetation came up and then as, as I was clearing everything before I knew it, a big balloon, big yellow balloon perch comes flying out the hole. I go screaming for Gino and Gino comes in and that's where I'll leave you guys with it in Gino's hands right after I pulled it out. But it was incredible. All it was was this just did not activate for the rod to go up and the rest is history. I caught one of my biggest perch I'll probably ever get in my life. Check it out. It was an amazing moment, and here we go. Thanks, Gino, for holding this fish, but oh my god, look at my fish! <laughs> Woo! Get, get the tape out. That's like 13 all day. <laughs> oh my god, I've never even seen a pit fucking... Oh my god! Oh my gosh, do you know? Oh my god, this perch is 14 inches! I've never seen a perch that wide before, man. Oh. You just passed by here. You. Okay, Jeannie, can you get your phone? I've, I've never in my life. Thank you, man. Oh my goodness. I've never been able to like stick my full thumb in a purchase mouth before. Let's pull her up. It's a lighting test. I've <laughs> never caught a purchase fucking me. Oh, yeah. oh, that is awesome. That's an actual egg like Holy yeah. <coughs> Aaron would go crazy right now for that purchase. Oh my god. Aaron would Aaron would go crazy for that purchase. Can you get the tail out more or no? Yeah, go. Fourteen and a quarter. Oh my god. Where's your that girl? Hold it up one more time. Yeah, 
This is absolutely incredible. This is holy. Oh, oh, I thought it broke. Just a little horse head. Just tie your eye. Yeah. I'm kind of worried. Nice and easy. There was a 28 inch wall I pulled out of here, too. No, this is a pike, eh? He's just swirling. Delight. Four pound test. I'm going to put you on Instagram Live right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't say that oh, shit! <laughs> what kind of spoon is it? I don't know why I'm pulling this spoon. Why am I using four pound tests? Holy, you walk around lots, eh? Yeah, this is a, this is a gap. <laughs> oh, it's a big wall, I think. No, you're lying. No, I'm not even joking. I'm not, I don't, it didn't look like a pike at all. It looks like a pike to me, man. Don't lie to me. Is it a pike? Oh, it's a dinker. Here's a gap. Who's gonna grab him? I'll just grab him. Just a little dinker. Okay, I like how I say we haven't seen a pike yet. Oh wow, he was able to snake around in the hole. Perfect for eating. We're going for perch. Should I just sneak in? There you go. Gino with a pike. First pike of the day. Oh, that's what he did. That's perfect. You couldn't have got a better spot. Here, Emos. This is great. So this is why we came to... Uh, well, you're helping me make a video now. <laughs> can someone hold his mouth open? It's like if Oh, I wouldn't go for that. Just go for his gills. Because he's going to fall. Oh, yeah. yeah, just always in the gill cave. Don't move. It looks like it's falling, so it's pretty much out. Here we go. Yeah. You want him? <laughs> oh, he's gonna scare all the perch now. Well, it's good that you got rid of him. He won't be around for a while. Cool. Good job, Gino. <laughs> there is the future of Oak Lake. That is by far the smallest wall I, I have ever caught. I am registering this as a master angler. <laughs> Ten pounds. Ten pounds. Oh my god. He still has a minnow in his mouth. Yeah, he deserves a snack. You're not gonna take a picture of him? I'll hold it. Oh, okay. Put him on the ground, though. No, I don't want him in the snow. It'll kill him. He's way too small for that shit. Here, just hold your hands up. I'm not going any further because I know you're scared of him, so just grab him. Grab him. Put him down. There's our first fish, a little tiny. Ah, she's finally holding her fish. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, I got oh, well. You want to put him back? Here, you put him back. Put him back. Hook your fingers a little. You held your first fish, good job. the spoon. Oh, I just lost eight dollars. Good. Oh, the knot went. It wasn't even near. The floral went. Give you guys an update on what's going on. So we caught that giant, or I caught that giant perch. Gino's hooked into a couple pike. Just lost one too. And yeah, we're just kind of finally hunkered down in a spot and we're just chilling, hoping the fish come through. Yeah, we're going from there. Not a overly productive day, but definitely well worth coming out here. And hopefully we get another slab, uh, slab perch.
Hey Gino. Yeah. You gonna catch a perch? No. <laughs> well, we'll see if that changes as well. What is this? Oh, it is a walleye. It's a good one too. Got a good, a good wall. Walleye. Yeah. You saw him? See, that's how the other wall. Yeah, hit. it was a walleye. Your last one. I told you, man. Oh, is that the tungsten? Yeah, that was food. There you go. Nice. See, I told you I could catch fish. <laughs> Please don't tell me to get off your channel. <laughs> There you go, that's a nice, what, 17 inch oak lake yeah. walleye? Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Very delicious. I gotta keep them. I can't believe it. It is, what, the 15th of December? We're out here on Oak Lake and it's literally raining. It's not snow, it is legit rain. Unbelievable. Global warming, I'm telling you. Nah. Boom! Gone. Hey, noise. Is your phone back? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Pilgrim Outdoors. Special guest again, as always. Slower day. Oh my god! But it was a grind. We succeeded. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll wait a little longer before we ever come back here, right? <laughs> Back here. Never come back here. Right? <laughs> I'm one and done. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the video, guys. Talk to you later.